welcome back to my channel. This week's From the Clinic is about dry winter body skin. Now, this is something that's been bothering me and almost every patient I saw this week. That wasn't the main reason they came in to see me, but they did mention us. They were leaving, by the way, I'm really dry and a bit itchy. What can I do about it? And I think the thing is, winter makes you kind of want to, you know, lie back in a long, hot, fragrance bath. Um, it feels really good. But uh, the problem is if you don't use the right products and take the right care of your skin afterwards, you will end up with dry, flaky, unsightly patches, especially in areas like shins and backs of arms and elbows and things. So the key to making um, coming into contact with water okay in winter is to use the right products. Body moisturizer every day is a bit of a bore, isn't it? Um, and I think unless you find one, much like with facial sunscreen that kind of just slips seamlessly into your routine, you don't tend to do it unless you reach crisis situation. So I thought I'd show you some products I find really helpful. Um, I can even get my boyfriend to use. Um, so, you know, getting men to engage with skincare products sometimes is a bit of a chore, but these ones are really good. And um, I think they make the dry skin issue in winter a lot easier to bear. So. When it comes to cleansing, um, fragranced foaming really has to go when it comes to winter. They're just not your skin's friend. So why not swap it in for something like this, which is Bioderma's Atoderm and their ultra nourishing anti-irritation shower oil, which of course you can use in the bath as well. So a really quite luxurious feeling product, doesn't leave a film behind after um, you leave water but just feels nice on the skin. And, you know, get around the issue of not having fragrance by burning your favorite candle. So get some diptyque fig going or something like that. But yeah, super nice, supports barrier function, won't leave you feeling itchy and tight, and you can use it in the bath or the shower. Now, if you're someone who's got your hands in water very frequently, and many new mums will experience this, um, that they're washing their hands constantly, they end up with hand eczema. It's literally just the case every time your skin comes into contact with water, you're losing natural moisturizing factor, which means skin doesn't hang on to fluid as well as it should. So you can end up very dry and parched and really quite uncomfortable, like cracks and fissures and things, and even develop frank eczema. And for those who do have eczema, hands, which are our extremities, um, are really a kind of a trouble zone in winter um, as they're exposed to cold air, water, and so on. So Dermal 500 is a super useful product to keep around the hand um, by the sink, can be used in the bath and the shower as well. And it contains some antiseptic, but it's essentially a, a, a moisturizer that cleans your skin, so it won't dry you out. Um, and we use this in people with frank eczema, psoriasis all the time in clinic. So really helpful product to keep on standby. Moisturizer wise, two favorites. Um, probably my, my top favorite is La Roche-Posay Lipicar Balm. It's enriched with shea, so it feels lovely and moisturizing um, and luxurious. It absorbs super rapidly. Um, and it actually contains some niacinamide as well. So it's helping your skin become more resilient and robust. And the great thing about it, if you actually have a true skin problem um, and prone to eczema in winter, is it actually reduces flare-ups, um, so you get less frequent flare-ups um, over the winter season. Suitable for use in children as well, and most importantly, just absorbs quickly. Uh, there's no way you can get someone to apply moisturiser twice a day if it's gloopy and like an ointment and sitting on the skin um, for ages and stopping you from getting dressed quickly and destroying blouses and shirts and things so for that reason um, a real thumbs up and then a really affordable one is the Cetaphil moisturizing cream which is suitable for face and body and it's non-comedogenic which means you can actually use it happily on chests and back which are areas that might be prone to blemishes and if you have dry skin as well it can be really difficult to work out what's safe and what's not but this is a great one um, and very, very reasonably priced. No fragrance. Again, can be used in kids. Um, but yeah, a lovely product that's really supportive and nourishing and absorbs rapidly. So those are four great basics to help you get through uh, the winter without drying your skin out. I hope that was helpful. Bye for now.